Hi friends, I am back with this interchangeable DIY. It's an interchangeable football sign. We love football here in our home and I thought it would be fun to create a piece that I could incorporate to my decor. You're gonna need one of these signs. You're gonna need the Velcro fastener dots, a sanding block, and you're gonna need this from the Dollar Tree. You're also gonna pick up a couple of foam brushes if you don't have any on hand and you're gonna go ahead and take your sign and lightly sand it for a smooth base the falling leaves area has glitter and when you paint we don't want that texture so I'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand it I'm gonna take my chalk paste and go ahead and do four coats over each area that I know I want to look like wood so that is the top two rectangles and then the middle rectangle and the bottom is gonna be chalkboard so the hardest part of this is I can't give you the exact measurements because not all the signs measure out the same. They're kind of like a hair off of each other, but I'll go ahead and link my sizing below. And then I went ahead and measured each area that I, I knew I was going to place my football paper. And I'll go ahead and link the paper below as well and the Mod Podge and the paint that I used to create the wood looking feel to this sign. And so as you can see here, I'm just going to take my football scrap of paper and add it to the pieces here where I want it to have that area. And I'm going to go ahead and mod podge that. So you're going to take your chalkboard paint and you're going to do two layers. If you feel that you need a third, go ahead and do a third. I did two layers. And then you're going to take two lighter colors and I'll link those colors below to create this textured wood-like um, look on your sign. And I did this because I have a lot of farmhouse decor I wanted to incorporate with my home decor. And it's just dry brushing. Um, it's very taking um, paint very lightly to your brush and doing some dry brushing. So then as you can see, I removed the football from the hanging sign. We're going to put it right there on that left hand corner. Actually, you can put it wherever you like, but I'm trying to visualize how I want this to look. And then here comes the fun part. So you're going to do your printing. You're going to do your team at the top, whether it's the Niners, the Packers, the Hawks, the Seahawks, or whoever. You're going to take that and you're going to go ahead and print, cut, and Mod Podge. And then you're going to do your teams. Um, you can do, as far as the teams, you can do helmets, you can do square shapes, you can do oval shapes. It just depends on your preference on how you'd like this to look. You can do it however you'd like. And it's basically printing and mod podging. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly paint this or mod podge this to the wood. But as far as the teams, I'm going to mod podge those to cardboard so that they're sturdy. And you can take some foam board. And you can do it on there or you can take any cardboard that you have lying around because as a crafter we always have stuff like this right but if not take some foam board and what you're gonna do is you're gonna mod podge each team to the foam board and then once dry you're gonna go ahead and cut the shape out and then like I said that's the fun part so then you get this so then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the way I added the Velcro because the Velcro is pretty hard. So we don't want to, obviously it's a Dollar Tree project. So we don't want the cardboard to bend or you know, lose its shape. So what I did was I glued half dots. So the main base has the full dot, but the, t the team parts only have half of the Velcro so that it's not so harsh. And this is what you get guys.
So these next pieces are accidental pieces and um, they were from a sign that I was already making that I messed up, but I decided that I wanted to change up the look. If I felt like changing up the look, I would just attach that with Velcro there, kind of make it a three dimensional thing. And there's that half dot glued on and there you go. And then the footballs also attached with Velcro it was a little sloppy, but all you need are two pieces to attach it. And then I did this as well because the Mod Podge on the original was kind of wrinkled so I didn't want that and it just looks cool because it looks three-dimensional. So as far as saving images, printing, and sizing, this is what I do. I just do it on my phone, save to my app, look for the picture, create these pieces that I just print out, I size them to my liking and so what I'm reason I'm showing you is this because you can do this with anything that you find as far as um, internet clip art that's free and that's copyright free I'm not gonna create this um, download because I'm not sure if I can get in trouble for that so I just I'm showing you the process and um, basically this is what it is I hope that everybody found this tutorial fairly easy. I'm trying to stay as easy as possible. Tomorrow's DIY is a little bit advanced, but it's a good one, guys. I hope you stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. Bye.